Colleen here again. I have a little demo today of a, a chai latte. So I wanted to talk a little bit about chai before I jumped into my demo. So I wanna know from you, have you ever made your own chai tea at home? And if so, which of our flavors is your favorite? Now, if you've never made one at home, that's totally okay. We have an entire page in the catalog dedicated to chai tea. So we have a traditional chai base. So you'll think of that as a masala chai. If you go to like an Indian restaurant and you have a masala chai, it's really rich, really creamy, really deep, bold flavors. That is our traditional chai base. We have a chai latte, dark chocolate chai for those who need caffeine free. We've got winter, winter spice, which is what I'm gonna be doing in a little bit here. Cinnamon chai, that is a black tea. We have a pu'er tea that is so good called spicy chai. Mm. We have a cozy pumpkin swirl, which is another black tea. Butterscotch chai, that is another black tea. That makes an amazing martini, just in case you wondered. We also have another black tea that's chai-like called turmeric and spice that also has that turmeric in it that's really, really good for you. It helps with inflammation and all those aches and pains, your joints, your muscles, all those amazing things. So that is the turmeric and spice, which is chai-like. It's on the chai page, but I call it chai-like because it's a little bit different flavors than your other traditional chai teas. I wanted to do one more little shout out just because I'm on a roll. You see this amazing bling Sibology shirt and you would have noticed earlier in the week, I believe it was Trell had an awesome purple Sibology shirt. This is swag that you can't buy. Like even as a Sibologist, I can't buy things like this. These are items that we earn through incentives. So simply us sharing the love of tea that we share with you guys is something that we can earn like things like this. So it's usually a few times a year that they have some kind of consultant incentive. And I'm praying that the fall we have one because fall is usually the time of year that we have these types of things. Um, so if you want swag like this, talk to your sabologist or I will post in the comments below after my doctor's appointment, a link to our opportunity event. We are running an opportunity, a no obligation opportunity next week, just to learn about what's going on in the tea business, how it is heating up, it's getting spicy for the fall and winter season. So if you are open to thinking about what Sibology could do for you, and your family, please let your Sibologist know, or like I said in the comments below, I will drop the link. Um, it won't be right now because at 3 p.m. on Monday, I'm at a doctor's appointment, but somebody or myself will drop the link below. So with that said, I want to dive into the demo that I was actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> After all that rambling, I'm sorry. I am going to be using my Breezy. And we are gonna make some tea. So what I'm gonna do is I want some caffeine. So I am using my English breakfast as my base. So I'm just gonna give it a shake. I always give all of my teas a shake because things settle down and I want to get a good scoop of all of it. So I always give my teas a shake before I reach in with my spoon and get out some scoops. So I'm gonna do two scoops of English breakfast in my breezy. Seal that up. Let's add some hot water. And close our lid. Now we're gonna set our timer. Gonna use my fancy tea timer, which I had stuck on the side of my fridge because it is magnetic. So we're turning all the way to the end, 
And then we go back to the black and puer. So this is gonna steep for a couple of minutes. And while this is steeping, I'd like to get started on the next part. So I had mentioned that we were going to be doing a chai. And you're wondering, why on earth did she just do English breakfast if we're making a chai tea? I'm gonna tell you a secret. This winter spice chai latte is just the spices. So you can have it with just the spices as a caffeine free drink, or like I'm doing here, I'm mixing two teas together to make a beautiful blend. I have my caffeine base, I have my chai spices on the top, so I get a little combination of both. I wanna show you what this tea looks like, this, this spices, this winter spice latte. Like, like I was just saying, we're giving it a good shake. This one's got some really beautiful things happening in it, so I wanna show you. So I'm gonna take a scoop and I'm just gonna put it in a little cup. Set this to the side. Here you go. Take a look at this. See those chunks? You are seeing, let me read you the instruct. Yes, my cup is a heart. Cinnamon, nutmeg, orange peel, which is some of those chunks that you are seeing, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and natural flavors. So you actually get the orange peels. You get chunks of ginger, little chunks of cinnamon. This is so aromatic and oh, it's beautiful. But what did I do with that, you're wondering? Well, I stuck it in a steeping sack and I've been steeping it in my warm milk. So I have made a nice little chai spice milk here. Let me take out my steeping sack. I'm just gonna put it in my little cup here. So all I did was on the stove top, warm up some milk. I didn't get it to a boil, just a little simmer. I just wanted it to be warm. And then I dropped in my steeping sack. Inside my steeping sack, I put two teaspoons, two perfect cup spoons, of the winter spice chai. And now I'm just giving it a little squeeze to get all of that milk out of my sack. And you just heard our bell. That is our English breakfast. So let us pour that and then we will finish with the latte part. So there it is in our beautiful breezy tea infuser. If you've never used this before, love it. It's like a mouth is gonna get you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm using my bubble cup and you just set it down on top and it pours out the bottom. So I'm gonna do all of my tea because I didn't put, actually perfect because that's about what I wanted. I wanted three quarters of my bubble cup with my English breakfast. We will set that to the side and we're gonna use another one of my favorite things ever, our frother. So this is the party frother. It's huge, like look at it it's compared to my head. It is big. It will aerate your milk. So we are gonna put in, we're gonna pour in some of this spiced milk that we were just warming up on the stove. And then we are going to froth it using our frother. Let me turn you down so you can watch what I'm doing. You're not gonna see my head, but you'll see what I'm doing. So maybe I'll just... So all I'm gonna do is pump it. Pump it up and down. You can see how warm this is. It's just... All we're gonna do is pump it. You're gonna start to notice it's got some bubbles that are starting to come up here. It's gonna start to pull. You'll feel it pulling as you're pumping it up. That's what you want. You want that air to be going in there. You want that that pull, you're gonna keep going a little bit more, a little more. This, I want this to be bubbly. This is a little bit too liquidy still. I want it to be nice and bubbly. You can do this with absolutely any kind of milk or milk substitute. I'll talk to you while I'm pumping in. 
You could do this with any kind of milk, any kind of milk substitute. You know, oat, almond, cashew, macadamia nut, coconut. Um, I'm using whole milk. The higher the fat content in the milk, the easier it is to froth and get that really nice thick foam that you're looking for. I'm going to call this, it's also easier with cold milk than it is with hot milk, I have found. So cold milk, usually it's like 30 seconds, I've got this really thick, thick froth. Warm milk, not quite so much. So I have to do it a little bit longer. So I found the faster that you go, sometimes that helps. So we're just gonna go just a tiny bit more and then I'm gonna show you what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that be. We're gonna let that set for just a second while I get a towel and clean my fingers because it got a little messy on me. Okay. The trick is to let it sit just for a few seconds and then all of that, that that just fell off would get thicker. So I usually let it sit like 30 seconds or so to get that nice froth, thick, kind of hardens up almost is what I like to call it. And that makes it really nice on the top of your cup. So let me see. Grab a spoon and I can show you. So as it sits, this kind of thickens and hardens even a little bit more. So it's easy to just set it on the top of your cup. I'm gonna pour it out and show you. The first part you pour is going to be the liquid, and then the second part you pour is gonna be your froth. So here we have a winter spice chai latte with an English breakfast face in a beautiful bubble cup. Mm. Oh, so good, so darn good. So I absolutely love it like this. I like that base of the English breakfast because it's deep and rich. And then that spice that I'm adding with my milk just gives it a nice, bold, winter chai spice flavor. So I hope that y'all loved this winter spice. I hope it's something that you will go and drink. I have another little secret for you. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure you fill out that survey at the end because I made a cake. I made a cake with this and I'm giving you the recipe. But you're only gonna get the recipe if you fill out our survey at the end. So I hope that I see your names so I can email you that recipe for a spice cake. Have a great day.